Dr. Layla McKay is Director of the NHS Confederation. Hello, Layla. Good morning. I hope I got McKay right, is that right? You have, yes. Right. The antibody, just the NHS Confederation, voice of NHS leadership, brings together, speaks on behalf of the whole health and care system. Your thoughts on these tests, the, the necessity of them, and the fact that uh, it, what Chris Whitty said, it's, it's better to have this, this right than, than to have one which um, essentially gets things wrong. We must get it right. Absolutely. When we speak to our members, whether they're in the hospitals, in the community setting, in primary care, in social care, they're really concerned about the lack of testing for their staff. And that's, that's for two reasons. One is workforce capacity. They have lots of people who are currently off self-isolating when they possibly might not need to, just because they don't have that insight into whether or not the symptoms that they have or their family members have are COVID-19 or something else completely. Uh, and of course, the other reason is really a personal one. People are putting themselves at the front line, right in harm's way, working with the people who have this uh, infection and they are at risk. And they're really keen to have any further insight into the extent to which they're at risk and how they can manage that. And these two tests that we're currently discussing in different ways have the opportunity to help with that. And the antibody test will be, as they say, they use that phrase, game changer. But as I, I, I tried to say I'll, rather clumsily, but no test is better than a bad test. That's what Chris Whitty is, is saying. How far away do you think this test is that we can actually find out if people have had it? It's not quite clear what stage we're at in the testing to make sure the test works. Because as as we've heard, any test can bring us false positives where it will say, don't worry, you've got the antibodies, you have some immunity, but that could not be true. Yeah, no test or is could... 100%, is it? Exactly, exactly, no test. But what we really need is to have a sufficient level of, sh of certainty so that the test is actually worth doing and that we can have some trust in it. And I think that our NHS staff and other frontline staff need as much certainty as they can at this very complicated time. And Leila, what about... Uh, personal protective equipment for frontline workers. The reports in the papers today and a text from people as well who were working on the front line of the NHS, they're having to get hold of their own goggles and their own masks. Uh, what are your thoughts on that situation? Again, I think that this is a, a really challenging issue. Uh, the the centre, the NHS England and the Department of Health and Social Care tell us that there are enough of uh, these equipment, but it seems that there continues to be some challenges in getting them out to the people who need them. We're also hearing all the way across um, hospitals, but also particularly from social care, uh, primary care, community health, that they're not getting to where they want to be or that people have some, but they're worried about running out. And I think that this remains a real challenge, but it's certainly a challenge that we are talking extensively to NHS England and others about to try and get this resolved, because this is certainty and clarity that the NHS and other frontline staff absolutely need. So we need to keep pushing it until we can solve this challenge. But it is a challenge. This is a huge change in how the NHS does things and how the supply chains for these particular goods usually work. So it's is something that everybody's having to work really, really hard on. And we can't take our eye off the ball and assume that it's solved because what we're hearing is that it's not quite solved yet. Dr. Leila McKay from the uh, uh, NHS Confederation.